so in this problem uh, the helicopter the helicopter is nosing over at a constant rate q radian per second that means the nose is coming down at a rate of q radian per second if the rotor blades revolve at the constant speed p radian per second the rotor blades here there are blades and uh, they are rotating at a speed p radian per second write the expression for angular acceleration alpha of the rotor and you have to find out the angular acceleration of this rotor blades take y axis to be attached to the fuselage and pointing forward perpendicular to the rotor axis so y is attached to the fuselage and pointing forward perpendicular to the rotor axis so this is the rotor axis so y and z are perpendicular that means small y small z are fixed to the helicopter that means if you after some time the helicopter will be like this if it noses down and the nose is here then as small y small z are fixed to the fuselage so this y will be here and z will be along the axis of the blades and these are the blades so now <clears throat> if you take an inertial reference capital y capital z capital x is coming out of the paper towards you coming come ca capital x is coming out of the paper towards us so x y z and this is inertial reference then actually this small y small z or small x small y small z is actually rotating about the inertial capital x so there is an inertial capital x and small x small y and small z are rotating about the inertial capital x so here the inertial reference is capital x y z which is not shown here and uh, the reference frame fixed to the fuselage is n1 x y z and the reference frame fixed to the rotor blade is x dashed y dashed z dashed so about this z this blades they rotate so this is a rotation about z and we get a reference frame n2 which is fixed to the not to the disc but to the blades here i have written disc fixed to the blades okay so now the rotation uh, so angular velocity of the blades angular velocity of the blades we have to find out that is <coughs> actually to get the blades so we have to first give a rotation about capital x then a rotation about small z rotation about capital x and then rotation about small z at this configuration capital y capital z and small y small z are coincident but after some time it will be like this and this is this diagram is better for understanding the difference between the inertial reference and the fuselage fixed reference so omega will be minus q because rotation is about capital x in the negative direction so if you rotate in this direction it is actually in the negative uh, uh, capital x direction so this is minus q capital i then a rotation about small z so this is and the rate is p so omega is minus q capital i plus pk and we are actually interested in this configuration shown in the book so we can replace this capital i by small i because at this instant capital i at this instant capital i and small i are all here coming out out of the paper here also it's like that at this in, uh, capital i and small i are always coincident because we are first giving a rotation about x axis 
so this is minus q i plus p k and we replace the capital I by small i. Now alpha will be omega dot. So first these values will get differentiated and as q and p are constant rates as specified in the problem. So here you see here you see constant speed p and constant rate q. So these two terms will be zero. These two terms will remain but capital I is inertial direction. So capital I dot will be zero. So this term will remain. So and k, k dot will be angular velocity of k cross k. And what is k? k is fixed to small z. So k is having an angular velocity minus q i because this y x small x small y small z is rotating about capital X. So this z is having or k is along z k is having an angular velocity of minus q i and now you can replace i by small i. So minus q i because i and small i are coincident so minus q i cross k. So i cross k is minus j. So this is q j. So alpha is equal to alpha is equal to p k dot. So p q j. So alpha is p q j. And this is the next problem. Here the center O of the spacecraft, the center O of the sp spacecraft is moving through space with a constant velocity. During the period of motion prior to stabilization, the spacecraft has a constant rate omega equal to half radian per second. So omega is half radian per second. So this is along inertial, this is about inertial capital Z direction. And capital X and capital Y if we take them in the inertial direction or, or moving with constant velocity because O is moving with constant velocity. So if they are taken capital X and capital Y if the origin is O then capital X and capital Y are perpendicular to capital Z. So capital XY plane is perpendicular to the capital Z. Uh, omega equal to half radian per second about its Z axis. The x small x small y small z axis are attached to the body of the craft. So small x small y small z are attached to the craft and with respect to the inertial capital X capital Y capital Z the small x small y and small z is rotating about this capital Z direction. So capital Z and small z are coincident. And capital XY and small XY planes are same planes. But small x and small y are rotating about capital Z. So and the solar panels rotate about the y axis. So this is the body fixed line y and about this body fixed line sorry this is the uh, spacecraft fixed lines y. This is the spacecraft fixed line y and about this spacecraft fit fixed line y the solar panels are rotating at a rate of theta dot equal to one fourth radian per second. So theta dot is in the increasing direction of theta increasing direction of increasing direction of theta. If omega is the absolute angular velocity of the solar panels so the so angular velocity of the solar panels so the angle so in order to locate the solar panels we have to keep two consecutive rotations. One is the from again it should be from the inertial reference to the solar panel fixed reference. So from inertial reference to the reference fixed to the craft body that means capital XYZ to small XYZ and from N1 to N2 that is fixed to the craft body to fixed to the panel. And the consecutive rotations are first a rotation about capital Z, then a rotation about small y. So the angular velocity will be omega capital K along capital Z 
then minus theta dot j y minus because theta increasing in this direction which is actually in the negative direction of y. So this is small j. Now if you differentiate this to get angular uh, accel uh, acceleration then you have to differentiate this. So omega capital K minus theta dot j so omega dot is alpha so omega dot capital K plus omega k dot minus theta double dot j minus theta dot j dot k omega dot is 0 because omega is constant and theta double dot is 0 because theta dot is constant that is given in the problem. So this is 0 and k capital K dot is constant because capital K is an inertial reference and k is a fixed vector in inertial reference so this is 0. So this is 0 so only this term remains minus theta dot j dot. Now what is j dot? j dot is angular velocity of j cross j and what is j? j is an unit vector along small y and x, y, z is spacecraft fixed reference which is rotating about capital Z. So this reference is having small x, y, z reference is having an angular velocity of omega capital K. So J is also having the same angular velocity. So angular velocity of J is omega capital K cross J. Now you can replace capital K by K and uh, and you get minus omega i. So omega dot is theta dot omega i. Theta dot is half, capital omega is one fourth and you get one eighth i. So alpha or angular acceleration is one eighth i. Now how to get the velocity of this point? So this point is fixed to the uh, solar panel and the solar panel is having an angular velocity of this solar panel is having an angular velocity of this uh, so the solar panel is having an angular velocity of this so o omega cross o to a omega cross o to a so 8 along small y and 2 along this direction that means 2 cos theta along small z and 2 sin theta along minus x. So O to A vector is this. O to A vector is minus 2 sin theta small i along small x plus 8j 8 along small y and 2 cos theta along small z. So from here you can find out the velocity of a by computing omega cross rho and acceleration of a by co computing omega cross omega cross rho plus alpha cross rho. Again remember a is fixed to the solar panel. So here you have to use this relation and there is no need to consider any Coriolis component or relative acceleration component because point A is fixed to the solar panel and you are considering here the angular velocity of the solar panel and the angular acceleration of the solar panel. So thank you. So in this problem there is a motor. This is the motor and this is a disc attached to the motor shaft. This is the motor shaft. So the motor pivots about the x-axis. So this is the x-axis that is actually the line of the bearings, the center line of the bearings. The motor body can rotate about this x-axis and, and that uh, co uh, the constant rate at which it rotates about the x-axis is gamma dot which is 3 pi radian per second with no rotation about the capital Z axis. So about this capital Z axis, this is the rotation and for this problem, the um, value of capital N is 0. 
determine the angular acceleration alpha of the rotor and disc alpha of the rotor and the disc as the position gamma equal to 30 degree is passed the constant speed of the motor is 120 revolution per minute. the motor speed is 120 revolution per minute and this is omega naught also find the velocity and acceleration of point a which is on the top of the disc for this position and a is a point actually fixed to the disc so <clears throat> the standard procedure as we have uh, been seeing that it start we have to start with an inertial reference and we have to go to the body fixed reference in steps and in each step we have to give a rotation about an axis so through these consecutive rotations we have to go from inertial reference to the body fixed reference so here the inertial reference is capital xyz so z is actually the inertial direction it is shown capital xy is perpendicular to this z axis and obviously it is parallel to the plane of the turntable so this is the turntable the capital x and capital y is passes through o o is the origin and capital x capital y is parallel to the plane of the turntable so exact position of capital x and capital y depends on initial time where actually when actually you take t equal to 0 so capital x and capital y are not shown in the figure so first the inertial reference capital x capital y capital z we call it n0 then n1 so we give a rotation about capital z axis that is the turntable rotation so and we get x dashed y dashed z dashed so the pink one x dashed y dashed z dashed so x dashed y dashed and z dashed we get by giving a rotation about capital z and the rate of that rotation is capital n which is in this particular problem given as zero so x dashed y dashed z dashed we get by giving capital X capital Y capital Z a rotation about capital Z axis now we give a rotation about this X dash so this and we get X Y Z so actually we give a rotation about X by an angle 90 minus gamma so that this Y dashed falls on y and this z dashed falls on z so this angle is 90 minus gamma this is gamma okay uh, this is again this is again 90 minus gamma and this is gamma so now we get x y x y z which is actually a reference frame fixed to the motor body now we have to finally give a rotation about z and get x double dashed y double dashed z double dashed since we are giving a rotation about z z and z double dashed are identical so and that is x x double dashed and y double dashed are again not shown in the figure so x double dashed y double dashed z double dashed is fixed to the disc so x y z fixed to turntable fixed to motor body we call it n2 and fixed to disc we call it n3 so these are the four references and starting from the inertial we arrive at the uh, body fixed reference frame. so what are the three rotations first about capital z then about small x then about small uh, sorry first about capital z then we get x dashed y dashed z dashed so the next rotation is about x dashed 
and by giving a rotation about x dash we get x y and z and finally we give a rotation about z so these are the three rotations one about capital z the next one about x dash and the final one about z double dashed so these are the three rotations no now omega should be n into capital k because n is in the direction of capital z but n is zero here and then gamma dot gamma dot will be along x dash gamma dot will be along minus x dash because increasing gamma means gamma is increasing in this direction which is negative of x dash actually it is in this direction so this is minus gamma dot i dash plus omega naught k omega naught is along this z so omega naught k so this is the angular velocity now actually since i dashed and i are same we can write it gamma dot i plus omega naught k and this being zero we can write it as minus gamma dot i plus omega naught k and gamma dot is minus 3 pi and omega naught is 4 pi so 4 pi means 100 to 20 revolution per minute so twice pi n by 60 so this is 4 pi so this is minus 3 pi i plus 4 pi k radian per second but while while uh, finding out alpha when you take derivative of omega to get alpha you have to you have to use this relation not this one so you start with this so first these values will get differentiated capital n gamma dot and omega naught they will get differentiated then the unit vectors capital k i dashed and k they will get differentiated so capital k is inertial reference so k dot is zero moreover n is zero so n dot has to be zero so the first term has no meaning so minus gamma gamma dot is constant so this term is gamma double dot is also zero gamma dot is constant because gamma uh, 3 pi so it is constant rate gamma dot 3 pi radian per second so the second term is also 0 and this is also constant so the uh, constant speed of the motor so this term is also 0 the first term is fully 0 uh, capital K dot is 0 and n is also 0 so the first term goes so minus gamma dot gamma dot is non 0 but what is i dash dot so i dash dot will be equal to angular velocity of i dash cross i dash and what is the angular velocity of i dash i dash is actually rotating this x dash y dash and z dash x dash y dash and z dash they are actually rotating about capital z so i dash is having a angular velocity of capital n k capital n capital k so this is n k cross i dash and n being 0 so this is also 0 now what is k dash what is k dot k dot is angular velocity of k cross k and what is angular velocity of k so k is along z so this is having an angular velocity 1 about capital z n capital k then 1 about x dash that is minus gamma dot i dash so this is n k minus gamma dot i dash cross k and if you so n k n is 0 so this term goes and now i dash can be replaced by i so this is minus gamma dot i cross k which is gamma dot j so this is 3 pi j so after com computation of the derivative you can replace this i dashed by i so so the angular acceleration becomes angular acceleration becomes uh, this term only remains on uh, this term and this term so no this term is zero i dash dot is zero so this term remains so omega naught k dot and omega k dot is this so this is omega naught gamma dot j and which is 
this is 4 pi as we have seen into 3 pi j so 12 pi square radian per second now what is the velocity of a so this is a point is fixed to the disk so with relative to the disk a point does not have any relative velocity so a point is fixed to the disk so the velocity of a will be from o to a as this is uh, this is the fixed point so o to a oa omega cross oa is the velocity of a point and alpha cross oa plus omega cross omega cross oa is the acceleration of a point so that is exactly what uh, you have to do so va is omega cross rho and for finding out rho you o is the fixed point so here you go along z distance oc which is 10 inch and then you go along then you go uh, from c to a along this y so this is 10j plus 5k 10j plus 5k so 5 O to C is 10 so this should be 10k 10k plus CA plus 5j so this is 10k plus 5j so it seems that I have made a mistake so this is 10k plus 5j yeah this is correct but this is wrong so this is 10k plus 5j so this is 10k plus 5j so now you compute the cross product and give give you get this as uh, the velocity and for acceleration this is the relation so you compute the cross products and you get this as your acceleration of point A.